hello students today i'll be starting with question number 15 of exercise 2.5 now question number 15 says give possible expressions for the length and breadth of each of the following rectangles in which their areas are given here area is given which is 25a square minus 35a plus 12 this is a quadratic polynomial as the degree of the variable is 2 okay now we will factorize this to get length and breadth now how to factorize it we will take the constant term and the coefficient of the square term to multiply so here at first we will multiply 25 by 12 we will take the constant term and the coefficient of the square term okay to multiply 5 to the here 12 5 is a 60 6 carry 12 uh, 12 to the 24 24 plus 6 is 300 now we'll find the factors of 300 so 2 15 is a 30 2 7 is a 14 5 to the 10 3 25 is a 75 5 5 is a 25 5 1 is a 5 So, we will choose the number in such a way that by adding and subtracting, we will get the middle term which is minus 35a. Now, if you take these three numbers, 4 2 is a 8, 2 2 is a 4, 4 3 is a 12 and from here we will get 25. Now, if you do plus or minus, we won't be getting 35, okay. So, we will take another number. Say this is 2 2 4, 4 5 is a 20. Okay, 2 to the 4, 4 5 is a 20 we have taken and 3 and 5 make 15 and if you add this we will get 35. Okay, so first term will remain same which is 25a square and last term will remain same which is 12. Now we have to make 35. So for this we will take 20 and 15 and as you have to do addition by addition we will have to get 35 so and here since 35 is having negative so both the term will be negative sign so it will be 20a plus 20a minus 15a okay we have taken 20 and 15 to get 35 and since in the middle term with the middle term minus sign is there so both the term will be having negative sign to make minus 35 okay now if you multiply this two if you multiply this two number you will be getting 300 okay and if you add this you will be getting middle term okay now from this we will have to take common so here if you take 5 then 5 uh, see 25 and 20 is divisible by 5 so we can take 5 as common and here in both the term a is present so we can take out a from both the term so what would be left out within the bracket if you take out 5 from 25 5 will be left why because 25 by 5 is 5 and from a square if you take a then a will be left then we have minus sign now 20 divided by 5 it's 4 from 20 you have taken 5 that means which number will be left here 20 divided by 5 is 4 and a is already taken out so it's 5a minus 4 now we have minus sign now from these two term also we will have to take common number like 15 and 12 both are divisible by 3 so we'll take 3 from these two term so what would be left out 15 divided by 3 is 5 and a will be there with 5 then here we have taken out minus so this sign will become minus since we have minus sign over here so this sign here if you have plus sign then it will become minus if it is minus then it will be plus because if you remove the bracket this minus and this minus will become plus okay so if there is minus sign before the bracket sign will change inside of the bracket okay so here 12 divided by 3 is 4 now see we have got the same factor 5a minus 4 so from the 2 will take 1 from 2 5a see 5a minus 4 and 5a minus 4 both are same so from these two will take 1 and here 5a and minus 3 is another factor okay 
now here we have to see a, this area can be represented as the factor of 5a minus 4 and 5a minus 3 so here area so this will be length and this will be breadth why because area is length into breadth and since here after this bracket we don't have any sign in between after that again we have bracket so that means here in between these two bracket we have multiply sign that means since in the formula of area is length into breadth since area is 5a minus 4 area is represented in the factor of 5a minus 4 and 5a minus 3 so the length of this will be 5a minus 4 and breadth will be 5a minus 3 okay now moving on to the second part now in the second part area is given 35y square plus 13y minus 12 so we have to factorize this to get length and breadth so for this we have to take the constant term and the coefficient of the square term to multiply so we'll multiply 35 by 12 so 12 5 is 66 carry 12 3 is 36 36 36 plus 6 is 420 36 plus 6 is 42 so it, it will become 420 now we will have to find the factors of 420 so 2 2 is a 4 2 1 is a 2 0 2 1 is a 2 1 cannot be divided by 2 so 0 2 5 is a 10 now 3 3 is a 9 3 5 is a 15 5 7 is a 35 7 1 is a 7 now we will have to choose the number in such a way that by adding we will get 13 ok so if you take 2 2 is a 4 4 3 is a 12 and 35 then if you subtract this 5 minus 2 3 and 3 minus 1 2 so we are getting 23 but we have to make 13 so if we take 2, 2, 4, 4, 7 is a 28 and 3 and 5 make 15. So if you subtract this 5, 8 minus 5 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1. So we are getting 13. So we will take the number 28 and 15. So first number will remain same. 35y square and last number also will remain same. So here by adding and subtracting we have to make 13. So we will have to take 28y minus 15y. So here after subtracting this two, after subtracting 28 and 15 we are getting 13. Okay. Now here see with 28 we have, be, we have given plus sign and with 15 we have given minus sign. Why? Because since we have to make plus sign. So we know that if there is two opposite sign, we always put greater one sign. So since we have to make plus, so plus sign will be always with a greater one. So that's why plus sign is with 28. Okay. Now from these two term, we will have to take common. So if you uh, see in this two term, if you see that 35 and 28, both are divisible by 7. So we can uh, take out 7 from this two term. And since y is present in both the terms, so we will take 7y. Now, 30, from 35 we have taken out 7. So, what would be left out? 35 by 7 is 5. 35 divided by 7 is 5. And from 2y you have taken 1. So, 1y will be left. So, it's 5y. Now, plus sign. 28 divided by 7 is 4. Okay. And y you have already taken out. So, it's 5y plus 4. Now we have minus sign. Now 12 and 15 both are divisible by 3. So if you take out 3 from these two terms, then what will be left out? 15 divided by 3 is 5 and y is there so it's 5y. Now since here is minus sign so this minus will become plus. So tl divided by 3 is 4. So we have got 5y plus 4 here and here. So these two factor is seen. So from the two factor, from these two factor, we'll take 1, which is 5y plus 4. And here 7y minus 3 is left. So it will be 
सो इट विल बी फाइव वाई प्लस फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सेवन वाई माइनस थ्री सो हियर लेंथ विल बी फाइव वाई प्लस फोर एंड ब्रेथ विल बी सेवन वाई माइनस थ्री वाई बिकॉज एरिया इज इक्वल टू एल इन टू बी सो हियर वी हैव गॉट एरिया इज इक्वल टू फाइव वाई प्लस फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सेवन वाई माइनस थ्री सो हियर दिस इज एल एंड दिस इज बी ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी डू नंबर फिफ्टीन नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन से इज वॉट आर द पॉसिबल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द डायमेंशन ऑफ द क्यू बॉयज हुज वॉल्यूम्स आर गिवन विद हियर वॉल्यूम इज गिवन विच इज थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेल्व एक्स ओके ना वॉल्यूम यू नो दैट वॉल्यूम ऑफ अ क्यू बॉय इज लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ इन टू हाइट वी हैव टू फाइंड द पॉसिबल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द डायमेंशन ऑफ द क्यू बॉय सो हियर वी हैव थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस ट्वेल्व एक्स एंड हियर सिंस मिडल टर्म फैक्टराइजेशन इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो वी हियर फ्रॉम दिस टू टर्म विल टेक कॉमन सिंस थ्री एंड ट्वेल्व बोथ आर डिविजल बाई थ्री सो विल टेक थ्री एंड एक्स इज प्रेजेंट इन बोथ द टर्म सो विल टेक एक्स ओके नाउ इफ यू टेक थ्री एक्स कॉमन देन फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टर्म एक्स विल बी लेफ्ट बिकॉज हियर द डिग्री ऑफ एक्स इज टू and here we have taken out one so one will be left then we have minus 12 divided by 3 is 4 now x you have take x you have taken already so here 4 will be left so this can be written as 3 multiplied by x multiplied by x minus 4 now see volume of a cuboid is equals to l into b into h so here volume we have got l into b into h so here L means three, B means x, and H means x minus four. Okay. Now in the second part, volume is equals to twelve k y square plus eight k y minus twenty k. Okay. Now since in all the term k is present, so we can take k common. Okay. And here twelve, eight, and twenty. These these numbers are divisible by four. so if you take out 4 from each term so what would be left out see 12 divided by 4 is 3 and k we have taken already so it's y square then we have plus sign now 8 divided by 4 it's 2 it's 2y k k we have taken already right so it will be 2y then we have minus sign now 20 divided by 4 is 5 And k we have taken already, so it's three y square plus two y minus five. It's a quadratic polynomial, so we have to factorize it. Now, here four k will remain same. We'll just factorize this. So we'll take the constant term, which is five, and the square um, coefficient of the square term, which is three. So three five is a fifteen, and we will have to find the factors of fifteen, which is three five is a fifteen. Okay, five one is a five. so using these two number we will make two okay so first term and the last term will remain same we'll just take these two numbers to make two we have to make plus 2y so we'll write plus 5y minus 3y because plus minus minus so if you minus it we'll get 2y and since we have to make plus sign so we have put plus sign with the bigger number which is 5 okay now 4k will remain same now from these two term we'll have to take out common number so here y is present in both the terms so we'll take out y so what will be left 3y because 1y we have taken out so 3y will be left plus Y we have taken out, so five will be left. Okay, then we have minus sign. Now from these two number, which number is common? Is one. So we'll take one. Okay, so three y will be left, and since minus sign is here, so this minus sign will become plus sign. Okay, so we have the same factor here. Now four k will remain same. And from these two factor, three y plus five will take 
from this will take 1 from these two factor will take 1 and y minus 1 is another factor now see here 4k is multiplied by 3y plus pi multiplied by y minus 1 so this is in the form of l into b into h length into breadth into height because volume is equals to length into breadth into height so this will be the possible expression for the dimension of cuboid so l will be 4k breadth will be 3y plus 5 and the last factor is y minus 1 so h will be y minus 1 okay so this was the last question of this chapter if you have any doubt any queries leave a comment below okay thank you students